Police video from Bellevue, Nebraska shows the magnitude of flooding in the area. Nebraska and Iowa suffered from severe floods when an area of low pressure underwent a process called explosive cyclogenesis that resulted in storm spawning heavy rain across much of the Great Plains and upper Midwest. That, coupled with melting ice and snow that was already on the ground, caused many bodies of water to breach their banks. Bellevue is, a, is in a suburban Omaha, and some rural areas suffered even worse flooding. Nebraska's governor calls it the most widespread disaster we have had in our state's history. Officials estimate farmers lost $400 million worth of crops and $400 million worth of livestock. Animal rescuers tried to help, but waters rose too quickly for, for many pigs and other animals to make it to higher ground. The flooding continues today. 110 miles of Interstate 29 are closed between Kansas City and Omaha as the water moves downstream. Flooding has been a big problem for much of the country in recent weeks, including right here in Mississippi and Alabama. On Thursday, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released their spring flood outlook. This spring, over two-thirds of the country is likely to continue to see moderate to major flooding. To help explain this more, meteorologist Jacob Dickey is here with the first look at spring flooding. Jacob, what does the outlook say for our region? Well, Riley, as we look at the outlook that came out on Thursday here for our region, between minor and moderate flooding is expected, and that's partially because of the differences in the, the flood zones for us here. So we've got the Tom Bigby River, and that is expected minor flooding as a possibility. We've all, already had a long winter and spring with that, seeing that seventh highest record crest in late February from that. Off to our west then, a moderate flooding likely on the I-55 corridor, and major flooding is expected to continue for the Mississippi River. Already tonight, Still 500,000 acres of land are underwater in the Delta, an economic and agricultural catastrophe for many Mississippians overnight tonight and through the next coming weeks. The water that is there now, though, more is on the way. All of the water that we see up in, o in Omaha and in Nebraska, Kansas, that will flow downstream into our region. It will stay in the Mississippi River, so flooding the spring flood season likely to be a long one, much like the floods in 1874, 1993, and even back in 2011 when significant flooding occurred. As we look at the river flooding here, the Mississippi River watershed drains water from as far north and west as Montana all the way to the eastern seaboard to Pittsburgh, all down one single river. A lot of water has to pass on through before things go back to normal in the coming weeks. For many of us here locally in northeast Mississippi and west Alabama, though, we are in the Tom Bigby River watershed. That drains down through Amory, Columbus, into Aliceville, and down to Mobile Bay, and our, our water drains here. Thankfully, there's not a lot of land area to our north and east that accumulates that water. It has to land here and then flow downstream, but we have experienced all too well what happens when we get a lot of rain in the Tong Bigby River. Through the end of March, it looks like we may trend more towards a lamb than a lion. Still, though, several rounds of showers and storms are expected over the next 7 to 10 days. You can catch those full details at any time on WCBI.com weather. Be sure and also have the WCBI mobile app to get the full forecast 24-7.